this quick video, I am going to show you how to upload a CSV file into Jupyter Notebook. So as you can see, you see my CSV file. This is our variable columns, show ID, type of movies, title, director. So this is a movie director data set. So we will upload this into our Jupyter Notebook. First thing you're going to do is go to your Jupyter Notebook, click on Upload here on the top right. Then you will select your file location. I have Netflix titles. I'm going to click on here. Now I will have this little green box, meaning it is a CSV file, and it is called Netflix underscore titles dot CSV. Now I can create a new workbook in Jupyter Notebook by selecting new Python 3. Next, I will import a library, import pandas as PD. And I will have control enter to run that cell. Next, I will add another cell here to view the data. So I'm going to call this data set data, D-A-T-A -A equals PD dot read underscore CSV. This is reading my CSV file. Now I need to know what my data set name is. So if I go back to my Jupyter Notebook, click in my data set to open, I can click up here on the top where it says Netflix underscore titles. That's the name of my data set. I'm going to copy that and go back to my code and paste in here. Double quotations. Now I am telling Jupyter Notebook to pull my CSV file, which is called Netflix underscore titles CSV. It's going to read that. But in this case, I want to view the file. So I'm going to go ahead and put data dot head to view the head of my data set. Control enter. Here is my data set. I want to see only my columns. I will type in data dot columns. Control enter. Now here are my columns, type, title, director, cast. And as I go back here, it shows me how many rows. 8,807 rows, 12 columns. That is my data set. That was how to upload a CSV file into Jupyter Notebook and view the file with Python code. Hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video, share the video. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.